Well, the 2022 football season is officially in the books for the Montana Grizzlies. The Grizzlies entered the season as the preseason number three team in the country, but their season ended this last weekend against North Dakota State, where they finished eight and five. So now it's full steam ahead for Montana as they look back to the season that was. It'll end up as a season of what ifs for the Grizzlies, a team with expectations through the roof to open the year, but one that closed with a second round playoff exit and five total losses. But as head coach Bobby Houck put it after the season concluded, this Grizz team stands alone at the top in terms of his favorites in his career. Just who they are, um, how much they care about Montana, what they're willing to do uh, for each other and, and for Grizzly football, I mean, without blanking an eye. I mean, they're just unbelievably. The season was a fast start for Montana with a 5-0 mark heading into the bye week. There, things began to slip away with three straight losses to Idaho, Sac State, and Weber State, all of which made the playoffs. After bouncing back with wins over Big Sky bottom dwellers in Cal Poly and Eastern Washington, the Grizzlies were blown out in the Brawl of the Wild by Montana State, but they squeaked into the playoffs where they topped Southeast Missouri State in the opening round in Missoula. That win would end up being Montana's lone victory over a team with a winning record this year before the Grizz exited the season last Saturday against North Dakota State. On Monday, Houck talked about the season and said he liked what he saw from his team against the best in the FCS in the Bison. That gives him optimism going forward. Well, they're really, really good up front. We gave up four big runs in that game. I watched the film. Can't do that. But beyond that, it's not that far apart. I mean, watching the film, I'm, I'm encouraged watching it, frankly. But to get to that level, as they do every year, the Grizz will march forward without some of the program stalwarts, like Missoula native and receiver Mitch Roberts. I think the thing that's made it the most special is, you know, getting to be coached by, you know, Coach Houck and all the, our great staff and my awesome teammates. You know, like you said, this is a very special team and um, probably my favorite team I've ever played on and um, it's really been an honor to just you know wear the maroon and silver and go out with these guys that I love and play the game and I'm gonna you know miss it a lot. Same goes for the Hawks in a way as Bobby Hauk and Robbie Hauk finished their final season together as the father-son coach player duo. It's been so much fun and I've said it before I mean I get to spend every day with my dad for the past it might be six years with uh, the COVID year. That's something I'll probably never be able to do again. It's been so much fun. And then, you know, everyone on this team is amazing. And it's uh, it's been by far the coolest thing ever. And I'll cherish cherish these moments forever. After falling short of expectations, it'll be an off-season of questions to answer for Montana as Bobby Houck now officially enters his contract year with his current deal set to expire in January of 2024. How will the Grizz fix the offensive struggles? Will there be any changes on the coaching staff or any players lost a transfer? And how will Montana correct special teams' mistakes and prevent big plays on defense that seem to doom the Grizz in all of their losses? Soon, those questions will be answered, and the offseason officially begins now for Montana. I am always excited about what's going on here, and as disappointed as I am with seeing our, our seniors' eligibility be up, I'm excited about the guys that we'll recruit, and I'm excited about the guys we have coming back. So they need to get refreshed, but our group will be excited to get going in January. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.